Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We thank you for joining us again, and we're joined by Fran Pavley. Uh, Senator Pavley is a member of the California State Senate. We're glad to have you. Thank you. I must congratulate the legislature. You passed a budget on time. Absolutely. Doesn't happen very often. That being said, uh, the way the budget was crafted is that it anticipates revenue surges. Uh, about $4 billion of revenue surges. We've seen some revenue mm -hmm. surges lately. Yes, we have. Which is nice. Are you confident that we will see those surges so we don't have automatic cuts, which is what's in the budget right now? Well, <laughs> we're all keeping our fingers right. crossed, obviously. Um, out of that $26 billion budget deficit that we had to grapple with from last fiscal year right. and this next fiscal year, $14 billion of more ongoing cuts right. that will continue, very difficult cuts to education, mm -hmm. health care, and a lot of things people care about. So um, additional monies came in. Um, after the people paid their income tax and right. sales tax, things are starting to look better. A mm -hmm. um, couple extra billion, but you're right, in order to close the budget gap and pass the budget, we went under the assumption that revenues projections will continue right. to increase. We need $4 billion more than what we're getting right now. Mm -hmm. By the end of the year or in January, we have a bunch of triggers. Automatic. Automatic. No vote of the legislature, automatic, that'll cause additional cuts. And the worst one, in my opinion, mm. is it could potentially cut seven days off the calendar year for K-12 education. Uh, I mean, it's hard to even respond, you know, without so sounding too flabbergasted, but seven days, I mean, we already have fewer days than Japan, than New York, than Connecticut, than New Jersey. And what you may not know, mm. in the last two years, because of the budget cuts, courtesy of the downturn in the economy, they've all, most schools have already cut five days. Right, that's so this happened. is seven more. I mean, this region, I know for sure it's happened. How, LA, Los yeah. Virginis, LA Unified, yes. I mean, we know this has happened. So, so how can we be competitive in a global economy? Well, let's talk about one area where we may see additional revenue, and that deals with internet retailers. Um, as you know, the legislature has shifted the burden to collect use tax, um, sales tax, let's call mm -hmm. it, just for yes. ease, uh, when you buy something online, Correct. the Amazon tax. Uh, we also know that Amazon has come out fighting in a very serious way. They are apoplectic about this. They want to bring it to the voters. What do you think about this issue? You know, they just got approved to begin their signature right. gathering. Mm -hmm. So people should look at this issue very carefully. And they have the money. And the reason I uh, voted for leveling the playing field is really at the request of a lot of local businesses it was they can't compete with someone who gets roughly an eight to ten percent reduction in the price of purchase of goods and it's hurting our brick and mortar stores that are right in our communities and the jobs that go with it how would you respond to those that would say but when this tax this shift of burden passed uh amazon and other internet retailers closed their affiliate programs and as a result jobs are lost that way because now these affiliates cannot work through the Amazon program. I think the uh, ending this sort of gift, and, and admittedly, 10, 20 years ago, this wasn't a problem, no, but growing didn't. purchase right. online. And we're seeing the impact, especially to the mom and pop stores mm -hmm. closing but up. Even, it's a tragedy. But even Best Buy, Walmart, I mean, if the, if the prices are the same between Best Buy and Amazon, Amazon's gonna be better because they don't charge these tax. That's right, it's a 10%. Now, legally, we're supposed, we're supposed to, to right. be paying that when we buy something like that. We're supposed to be paying that sales tax to the state. And I ask people a lot of times, so how many of you yeah, are paying it? Not so much. Well, they, they we don't even know how to pay it. That's right. That's the problem. They can't compute it. Exactly. And every, so um, uh, this is something very critically maybe important. Maybe a national solution is needed. Absolutely Maybe. a national uh, solution is needed. Uh, but New York, Illinois, and California right now. <laughs>